Hello, everybody, and uh, welcome to, what are we calling this, the, the greatest show ever? No, it's just theater, theater talk. It's the way people <laughs> stay informed about what's going on. I was on last night at uh, Contra Valley Live, and they, as we were ending the set segment, they were saying we were going to uh, transition to the entertainment portion. I said, this is the entertainment portion. It is. It is the entertainment portion. Yuki is definitely entertaining. Well, definitely... I have a lot of information about what's going on in entertaining. <laughs> I think he's a very entertaining guy. And, of course, we've got the Larry Owens here with us. How's it going? All right. How y'all doing? Good. Excited. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot to talk about. We do. Yeah. So go ahead and pull that microphone on up and uh, tell us all about it. Well, so um, starting this weekend, if you're a symphony fan, the symphony opens with Fiesta at the Murphy. Uh-huh. Um, and then also on Saturday, we've got uh, Fighting Cancer of All Colors as well. Right. In the Brooks and Bates. Um and on Sunday, we've got the ASU Wind Ensemble playing Yes. Uh, at 2.30 in the Brooks and Bates Theater. And that's just this weekend. <laughs> yeah. And then next weekend, uh, next week, actually, we have the Grand Kiev Ballet coming to present Snow White at the yeah. uh, Murphy Performance Hall. It's going to be a great performance. Exceptional dancers. If you don't have your tickets right now, better go out and get them. Yeah. Um, and uh, then on the 14th, the Solar Eclipse Day, we've got Edda May and the Southern Fried Chicks. Yes. Right? You know brilliantly funny you know she's the queen of southern sass and she'll be here with two of uh her new uh southern fried chicks to provide family friendly um uh, entertainment yeah exactly keyword there family friendly yes because this is know, it yeah yeah this it's uh the best of like dry bar comedy and uh relatable humor that uh -huh. i think anyone who attends will get a great laugh out of mm -hmm. so i mean there's so much going on but you we got to pause a little bit and Talk a little bit about SAPEC bringing, you know, opportunities, the spaces for all these things to happen. Yeah, so like, um, if you haven't noticed out there, <laughs> our season has shrunk a little bit because um, the demand on s using the space has grown, mm -hmm. right? So it's a balancing act. Plus, it's a little bit more economical for us to have a sh smaller season than in the past. Right. Um, but, you know, we've got ASU using our facilities this year. Um, of course, we've got San Angelo Broadway Academy, Ballet San Angelo, B Theory is a resident company in our yeah. space. Um, we've got the Green Apple uh, presenting music. In fact, they have a concert coming up on the 2nd of December. Um, so we've become really the venue of choice for a lot of organizations. Right. And um, it's just expanding, which is a great thing for San Angelo and the surrounding community to have this resource available yeah. to them. Exactly. Yeah. And a lot of people may not realize that SAPAC <clears throat> is a nonprofit. Yes. And, you know, people can rent these venues, but y'all are y'all are basically giving them the opportunity, the space to, you know, really create and we we we, we try to lean forward and secure funding to help ensure that we can maintain the rents at a reasonable rate. Right. Because I know how hard it is for um, other nonprofit performing arts groups or just nonprofit community groups to sometimes be in a space that they can put on a show. Mm -hmm. In fact, Lyrian was going to talk about the upcoming Fall Fest. Um, but it's, you know, trying to make sure that we are affordable to the community yeah. so that way we can reach the most people and do the most good. Exactly. Yeah, let's go ahead and, and jump to Leary over there. How's it going? It's going good. Good. I love the shirt for everybody. Yes. It says there's no community without unity. And, you know, the Blackshire Heights family, how do you describe that to folks, that group there? Man, we're just, we just passionate about, you know, bringing people together. Yeah. That's why our slogan is unity in the community. You know, I think that we are stronger together when everybody, you know, bring a different perspective. Yeah. And we all put that piece together. Man, it's uh, unlimited things we can do. Exactly. Yeah, pull that microphone on up because we yes, got to hear all this, Leary. So, okay, we got to talk about the Fall Festival coming up at SAPAC Venue. Yes, yes, this is our 10th annual, and uh, we appreciate Mr. Yugi for opening up the doors to give us this, this, this opportunity, yeah. you know, to, you know, host our fall festival and, and the mission, what we're trying to do. So, man, we're going to have a lot of different games, activities, face painting. We're going to have a truck or treat contest, a costume contest. Yeah. Um, we're going to have a hunted house. So, we're just excited, you know, to bring everybody together and have a great time. Yeah. This That's is our first foray into creating a haunted house at the okay. uh, Brooks and Bates <laughs> Theater, so um, we're, it's going to be movie themed. But like Larry said, it's you know a great opportunity 
for the community to come together. And yeah. we, we kind of worked together to, when I, I reached out to them to see if, because, you know, Blackshire Heights is so active right now. Oh, yeah. What they do. And I think it's a great opportunity to bring more people to our venues to see the opportunities that can happen when we work together and collaborate as exactly. a community and find unity. I love it. I love it. We're just... Love it. Okay. All right. We all need shirts at this point. Yes, we do. Uh, yes. Okay. So this is the 29th of it's October. Not. So um, people can get dressed up and it's free for everybody, right? Yes, it's free. Except for the haunted house. Part. Yeah. That's the fundraising portion. Exactly. So, you know, nothing, as we all know with nonprofits, nothing really happens without um, bringing volunteers together right, and right. also trying to help raise funds for the nonprofit to prepare for the next event, right? Mm -hmm. So this is a great opportunity for Blackshear Heights to celebrate their 10th annual, which is quite an achievement, you know? I can believe that the last, when they started, it was in his backyard, and yes. now they're, you know, at uh, the Stevens Performing Arts yeah. Center, and we're excited. He says that we'll have like three to 500 people there, and I'm sweating. <laughs> Because yeah. that's a lot. You're yeah. making them sweat, Larry. Yeah, and we got to, you know. And uh, we want to reach out to everybody. Uh, if y'all want to come and volunteer, yes. man, we, we welcome everybody to come set up a trunk or tree. Or if y'all want to come set up an activity booth, man, we welcome everybody. A great advertisement for the small local business. If y'all yeah. want to come out there and set up a trunk or tree, you know, pass out your business card. We just welcome everybody. Even the, uh, the uh, uh, local nonprofit organization, we welcome everybody to come on yes. board with us. That's fantastic. Yeah. Yeah. And that week is really gonna be a busy week of community because uh -huh. um, we're gonna start that week from a SAPAC perspective with an in-residency spoken word workshop at SCISD. Wow. Yeah. So we're bringing the fourth port laureate from um, Houston up, Outspoken Bean, amazing uh, performer, slam poet, a really great person. Yeah. And then he's gonna have a um, spoken word night on the 26th mm -hmm. in the Brooks and Bates. <clears throat> And then on the 25th, the day before, <laughs> San Diego Museum of Fine Arts will have their luster exhibit over at the Blue Buffalo yeah. with a car show in the back parking lot. And then, uh, oh, Ballet San Angel has um, sharing dance day on the 20th. Okay. But for um, two weeks, they'll have kinetic sculptures on display in the Stevens Center wow. uh, made by fourth graders, I think, in the SESC school district. Um, and then on the 27th, mm -hmm. there's a really special performance um, with Lake Views Mariachi Los Caciques yes. with a pianist, and it's going to be Mariachi meets Beethoven. I, that You wouldn't think those two would go together, yes. but they're going to make it happen. Yeah, and it's going to be an amazing show, and that's going to end at 7.30, and then we'll transition from that to our third annual presentation of Rocky Horror Picture Show. Yes. So really, I mean, that day, those shows back to back, you, you, we always talk about this. There's so much to do here. So much. Especially in October. And just, yeah. And those are just a few events you were saying. Yes. That are happening. Yes. The 14th, for example, is yeah. full and the weekend of the 28th and 29th is already full too. Wow. That is fantastic. Okay. So of course y'all are active on every platform, <laughs> the website, Facebook, Instagram, What's the best way, you know, for people to really connect with you and see all these things? Um, the best way is to come buy tickets at the box office. Give us a call yeah. at 325-284-3825. Or just check out all the shows on the website. What we've done is we've added all the school performances, all oh, wow. the um, upcoming shows. Like the San Angel Chorus has a season um, starting on the 15th. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be another great series of shows this year. Uh, so just check us out. We try to keep everything up to date there on Discover San Angel's uh, website so that way people have access to the latest information about what's coming down the yeah. pipeline. Yeah, that's fantastic. So, okay, you know, we talked a little bit about the support earlier, mm -hmm. but, you know, there's so many options. People can volunteer, they can donate, they can sponsor events. Yeah, well, yeah, sponsorship of events is uh, really important Yeah. Um, because some of the bigger shows, like we have Stomp coming in on December 6th, um, there's a rising cost to presenting shows now because of the cost of transportation, gas, right. food, lodging, and so on and so forth. So, you know, any, any dollar, every dollar counts. And I think the tr it's true for every nonprofit out there is, you know, um, to be able to provide the services that the community expects, it does require support, funding, mm -hmm. volunteerism to help make things possible. 
Yeah. And San Angeles is this amazing community where that happens daily. I yeah. Mean, so amazing. Yeah. That is fantastic. So, um, okay. I mean, there's just so much to talk about. We went over all of this. Um, what do, you know, from y'all's perspective, what is it like to see all this happening, you know, unfold before your eyes, the growth of your event and all these people coming out and just supporting the arts and community? Man, it is a beautiful thing, you know, especially when we have young people coming up to you yeah. and like, man, Mr. Leary, we appreciate what y'all do for the community and how could we be involved? Yeah. So that's my biggest pat on the back, you know, just, you know, kids want to, you know, learn what we're trying to do and take it to another level. Yeah, yeah. And the youth, I mean, the youth being involved, there's so many opportunities at SAPAC and y'all do so much, you know, <laughs> as far as outreach and having a different programs and everything. I think, you know, we have a really great ecosystem of uh, performing arts, visual arts, yeah. and even like nonprofits in this community. And I think that's really something that we, St. Angel can be proud of because mm -hmm. um, there are lots of resources out there for um, young people to participate, to get involved, and to experience new things, yeah. right? And it's really, I think, valuable because we have so many talented young people. I mean, uh, the band programs in SAISD continue to expand, the orchestra programs expand. Um, Angelo State University's orchestra and band workshops over the summer grew. They had most students ever. Wow. Um, so, you know, we, we see this and this, this need for um, art, education, and experiences mm -hmm. that will help, you know, lay the foundation for you know, outstanding citizens in this community. Yeah, and speaking of those experiences, you know, you were talking about, you know, saving money and the cost of everything. You're saving costs, basically, by going to SAPAC shows because you're not paying for hotels, you're not paying for food, I mean, for um, gas, you're, I mean, you can experience quality shows and entertainment here in San Angelo. And you can be home in 15 minutes. And you can be home in 15, I mean, <laughs> let's be real. <laughs> but, you know, I'd, I think you'll be a long time before we can bring in a show that will have a crowd of 60,000 people because we don't have the facilities yet. Right. But we will definitely be able to get world-class performers in here. We had Amy Grant last Thursday. Yeah. You know, over 1,100 uh, guests attended wow. that show. Um, so, you know, if you want to see great performances, um, Senate, we've got the facilities to do so. Right. Uh, Stomp in December will be an amazing performance um, by a Broadway level uh company uh, and and right now i think you can only see them on tour because the broadway show in new york uh closed right this uh past year right well okay so uh, speaking of you know just unique experiences mm -hmm. and kind of that intimate feel uh, but also rare because the key ballet you said this is the only stop right in texas right yeah so the grand key of ballet they're doing a nationwide tour yeah but this is the only stop in texas that they're doing um, which is pretty special, I think. Mm -hmm. um, so don't miss out on this opportunity. And they're re really doing a worldwide um, series of productions. Yeah. Uh, Snow White is the one that's coming through the U.S., but they, I think they have Giselle going through Asia, I think, right now. They have a number of tours going on that right now around the world. So this is an internationally renowned wow. troupe. That's fantastic. And they're here in San Angelo. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and and, and mm. so, like, we're working with them right now to um, for another program in uh, the spring. Oh wow! Mm -hmm. Okay, so okay. Don't miss out, St. Angelo. Here we go. A little yeah. teaser of what's yep. to come. I Ooh, love yeah. it. I love it. Well, okay. What else do we need to know about SAPAC? I know we talked about a lot. Hmm, <laughs> that's a great. Oh, you know. <clears throat> I knew we'd have some. Well, I, well, I think SAPAC opened in October, so this is our birth month. Okay. Oh. In uh, 2016. Yeah. That's when the first shows occurred at the Stevens Center. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then the following year was at the Murphy Performance Hall. But So we're now eight years old. There you go. Happy birthday to say that. Mm -hmm. I love that. <laughs> and, but did you know that last week was pretty important for the city of San Angelo? Yeah. Um, on September 30th in 1889, <clears throat> that's when San Angelo became the county seat mm. for oh. Tom Green County. Mm. Look at him with the fun facts. Right. The fun facts given to me by chat GPT okay. <laughs> and artificial right? intelligence. Yeah. And um, in 1928, Charles Lindbergh came through San Angelo 
on September 29th. Okay. Mm. Yeah, so I know there might be some pe people old enough to remember that, <laughs> but uh, I wasn't here. I was somewhere else. Yeah. Well, uh, we're glad you're here in Angelo, by the way, Yuki. And you too, Leary, y'all are both doing so much. Um, any final thoughts or messages that you want to share with the public? Get out there. Y'all, y'all be ready. We finish. <laughs> We're going to pull, y'all pull up and we're going to show out. Yeah. <laughs> and you know what? One of our things we want to see happen this year, we want Miss Sonora to come on out there this year. Oh, man. And, and we might put on a little, you know, a little dance show or something. Yeah, Everybody I always dance. Yeah, I yeah. It. I love it. Well, I got to plan out my costume, though, because you got to dress up. You got to dress, dress up. up. Yeah. Yeah. I got to I gotta be thinking. Hmm. Okay. All right. Yuki, any, any messages? Uh, speaking about dancing, uh, Ballet St. Angel is celebrating its 40th anniversary and they have free dance Ooh. classes on Sundays at oh, 5. Wow. So That's October awesome. is Country Western and then uh, November will be Latin. Oh, oh okay. Mm -hmm. So there's that too. So, you know. Yeah. I'm knowledgeable in all things performing arts and visual arts in this community. I was about to say, if you need to know anything, just call and talk to talk to yeah. Yuki. I, there's just, of course, all this is on their website as well, but uh, Yuki's just a wealth of knowledge if you haven't noticed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> all right, guys. Well, thanks again so much for joining us, and thank you all for watching. We will see you next time. All right.